if you've been living under a rock for the past couple of months, you'll probably be aware that there is an all-new Honda Civic on the way. It promises to be bigger and more practical than ever before, while still being good to drive and reasonably priced against its continually improving rivals. We are looking forward to that of course, but what about the current model? After all, we do like it and we'd still rate it very highly even in its competitive market. We also haven't yet given the 1.4 petrol engine a go, and so before we say goodbye to the current Civic in the next couple of weeks, we thought it would be worth a go. When the current Civic was introduced, it featured this split-level dashboard which at the time looked unbelievably futuristic. Compared to the sleek and decluttered dashes of modern cars, it looks slightly less so, but it's still undeniably quirky. Of course, we have reviewed the Civic before, including in this sport trim, so I won't spend too much time on the specifics. If you want to know more, you can click on our previous review, which should be on your screen right about now. All that you should know is that the Civic Sport is designed as a sort of halfway house between the regular Civic hatchback and the Type R hot hatch, although it is decidedly more about the styling than it is about the speed. Even though it gets an aggressive body kit and a sizeable rear spoiler, the Sport is actually the cheapest Civic that you can buy. Standard equipment includes DAB radio, cruise control and Bluetooth, so it's good value at least, and it's also a long shot from some of the more dire entry-level offerings from rival manufacturers. Satnav doesn't come as an option, which is a point against it, and material quality isn't up there with the best by quite a stretch, but it's still one of the most distinctive interiors around, and good value for money. Where the Civic also wins is in terms of practicality. The rear doors open at a 90 degree angle, which makes it easy to get in and out of. However, the sloping roof line of the hatchback does make headroom a bit tight, while there's also less legroom than in other competitors. It's also got an extremely large boot for a hatchback with 487 litres, which is about 100 more than cars like the Volkswagen Golf. There's also this underfloor storage area, while with all the seats folded down, total cargo capacity is 1,210 litres. The Civic Sport used to come with the 1.6 litre diesel or a larger 1.8 litre petrol, though Honda later replaced this with the slightly more modest 1.4. Compared against both the diesel and the 1.8, there is a distinct lack of balls with this engine. It takes its time, put it that way, with 99 brake horsepower on top and a 0 to 62 miles per hour time of 13.4 seconds. It's not all bad though, because at the end of the day, not every hatch has to be hot, and it'll surely still appeal to lots of people, particularly younger buyers, who want cool looks, but not necessarily loads of power or high insurance costs. The Civic has always been one of the sportier cars of its time to drive as well, and although the 1.4 mightn't be all that powerful, it retains the direct incisive steering and sporty suspension setup that makes it such a hoot to drive. It is quite stiff for a family hatchback and refinement could be better so it won't appeal to everyone, but for those who want a slightly more engaging drive without the compromises of a full-blown hot hatch, it's great. Pricing for the Civic starts from just over £18,000, which makes it slightly more expensive than your entry-level Golf or Focus, but in fairness you do get a better looking and slightly better equipped car. Bearing in mind that it's due for replacement soon, there are probably some sizeable discounts that you can get on one as well. Running costs aren't quite as good as the 1.6 diesel, but are okay. Honda claims 51.4 miles per gallon, with 131 grams per kilometre of CO2. Usually when it comes the time for a car to be replaced, it feels like it needs it, but apart from the interior, the current Civic still manages to feel contemporary. It's good to drive, massively practical, and it's got good looks to boot. If this is the precedent set, then we're definitely looking forward to the next one. But do you prefer this current Civic or do you like the look of the next one better? Let us know in the comments section below and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the inquire button to find out more details about this car or for any other models visit carkeys.co.uk and to watch more reviews click on one of the links on screen now.